you remember her as a child star on the hit show Party of Five, and perhaps know her best as Gretchen Wiener from the cult classic Mean Girls. Now you can watch actress Lacey Chabert in the new Hallmark movie, The Color of Rain, about a couple who find love after losing their spouses to cancer. Let's talk about Mean Girls. 10th anniversary just happened. Yeah. It's incredible how much of a cult film, it's not even a cult film, how much pop culture just can't get enough to talk talking about this movie. I mean, it's pretty crazy to me even. You know, mm -hmm. I, I on Twitter especially, I hear from fans every day, that's so fetch, you're so fetch. You do. Like, yes, people love to quote the lines and I mean, it's flattering. Mm -hmm. I never thought that 10 years ago I'd be sitting here and we'd be talking about every interview I've done in the last year probably, <laughs> especially, has been about Mean Girls and, and I, I, I feel obviously really blessed to be a part of it. I love that I got to play Gretchen. Mm -hmm. I'll never I, live it down. I think for <laughs> fans, they imagine it as so much to be like part of a family. Did you guys on, for the 10th anniversary end up texting or tweeting each other happy anniversary? Yeah, a lot of us did. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us don't keep in touch, unfortunately. I mean, it's just life takes you in it's separate also, directions. We, people forget that it's a movie and that was a job and you're not really expected yeah, and to it was keep two, in touch It was much. like two months of our lives up yeah. in Toronto. And, yeah, <laughs> 10 years ago, two 10 months. 10 years ago. And when you were shooting it, you had no idea it would become what it became. No, yeah. You thank God, but. Yes, of course, of course. Um, John Jonathan Bennett and I and Daniel Franzese were still very good friends, so mm -hmm. we'd speak often. Um, and Mark Waters and, you know, I, we actually, I saw the, we went to a reunion screening with Mark and Marcy Learoff, the casting director, and oh, wow. that was really, really, really nice. But I, I'm so flattered that people are still talking about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so many people you say approach you and say, that's so fetch. Yes. How do you, how do you mostly deal with it? Um, I usually just laugh. I mean, it makes me laugh. Sometimes people say it in very like weird circumstances, like I was sick. I've told this story before, but I was sick and I was at the pharmacy, and I mean, I looked terrible and I felt terrible, and I was just trying to get like cold medicine. And he's <laughs> like, "Oh, you don't look like you feel very fetched today." <laughs> Stuff like that makes me laugh. Oh, that makes you laugh. I would be, I would get so annoyed by that. And the White House tweeted it. They tweeted a picture of Bo, the the dog, and said, "Stop trying to make fetch happen." <laughs> Which I thought that was just like the ultimate. I think Gretchen's probably married with like 10 little babies running around. 10? Feeding them toaster strudel every morning. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a, healthy, a healthy morning breakfast? A healthy, nutritious breakfast. She's probably running toaster strudel. That's what she's doing. You need a massive toaster oven to cook 10 toaster strudel yeah. breakfasts for 10 kids. It's true. I think, I think she and Jason probably got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's she, it's fin she finally fetch. locked it down with Jason. Do you think she's still trying to make Fetch happen? I think she probably has a dog named Fetch. Everybody has their own careers and stuff. Everybody's doing their own kind of thing. So it's kind of tough to really nail down and go, okay, what can we do or what do we want to do? But as of, like I said, right now, it's not happening. 